over on Judy here on my two dummies of course. Um I've got a terrible memory. I mean terrible. Um I remember reading it was Hannibal, you know the Hannibal the follow up to Silence of the Lambs. I think it's the last one he did uh, he did Tom Harris. The one they made a film with it and they fucking ruined it. Ending totally different. In the book, Doctor Lecter and Clary Starling go off together. Obviously they don't in the film and it shows how bent and fucking rotten from the inside the political system in America is. So yeah, I learnt more from that book than within five years of school. Anyway, Lecter, Dr. Lecter has a memory palace. That's where I first ever heard of it. So I looked it up and it is a useful way. It's like a, a mnemonic, you know, a way of remembering stuff. So, um, many memory contest champions claim to use this technique to recall faces, digits and lists of words. The term is most often found in the specialised works in psychology, neurobiology and memory. Though it was used in the same general way, at least as early as the first half of the 19th century, in works on rhetoric, logic and philosophy, John O'Keefe and Lynnado refer to the method of Loki. See? Right, it's, now you only get it in specialised, compartmentalised disciplines now. Let's look, the term is most often found in specialised works on psychology, neurobiology and memory. Oops, sorry. Drop the fucking thing there. Hey, it's only, you know, that's how they compartmentalise and everything. It's like, you know, the word panopticon. I'd hardly ever heard that word till I read it in a book. Recently, the internet seems to be full of it. <laughs> Not it's an Alexandrus Exitus or whatever, it's Andreas Exitus vlog out today about um, a panopticon weapon. Mm, anyway, so this me method of locking, it was used right up until the beginning of the 19th century when they started sending us fucking back the way. Or after a reset or whatever, they stopped teaching it, basically. And now it's only taught in, like I said, repeat myself, psychology, ne neurobiology and memory. So it's just, you know, it's just specialised now. Whereas once it was in everything, look, it was in works on rhetor rhetoric, logic and philosophy, which covered everything in them days. The method of law, Kate, in imaginal technique known as the ancient known to the ancient Greeks and Romans was described by Yeats in 1966 in her book The Art of Memory as well as by Laurie in 1969. In this technique the subject memorizes the layout of some building or the arrangement of shops on a street or any geographical entity which is composed of the number of discrete loci. When desiring to remember a set of items, the subject walks through these loci in their imagination and commits an item to each one by forming an image between the item and any feature of the locus. Anyway, it's, it's, you, can, you have to obviously work at it and build it up. But you ever can't sleep for stuff like that, just practice it and it does help learn stuff. Lecter uses it brilliantly, he's got a great memory palace. <laughs> Hannibal, in one of his centrepieces, oh, I'm not even going to describe it because he's just that mad. Um, oh, fictional betrayals, I wonder if it mentions. Alright, look, in the original Arthur Conan Doyle story, Sherlock referred to his brain as an attic. In Hannibal Rising by Thomas Harris, a detailed description of Hannibal Lecter's memory palace is provided. It's in Hannibal Rising as well, is it? I didn't know. I've read. Hannibal Rising, I think, is when he's younger.
anyway. Um, yeah. Also, the Aquatic Ape Theory, have you ever heard of that? Like, people say, like, we descended from monkeys and all that, don't they? I don't believe that, right? But I definitely think we've got far more to do with water. Like, we've got webbed fingers, we've got a nose built for swimming, we've got bone structure for swimming. You see that wave then? Well, that reminds me of something else. Waves of life, eh? The Aquatic Ape, that's the book of Lassie wrote, what caused a lot of controversy. Yeah, but... There's a lot of... We've got a lot of adaptations what are suited to water. You know when you like your feet and fingertips and your toes scoring clay? When you've been in the bath like a long time or for a while, I think that was just because you were just getting too waterlogged when I was younger, and then I found out recently that it's for gripping things. You know, like you're in the water and you know you grip a fish or a stone, a pebble, or your feet can run better on slippy surfaces, things like that. Yeah, so, Memory Palace, I just, the method of Loki, it's just interesting, if you've got a bad memory and you want to do something about it, uh, you could do worse than look into this. And like I said, they used to teach people this. Right up until the early 19th century, 1850s there, uh, and they just needed, uh, yeah. Jesus, don't even want to go there. Right, so I've got. See you all later. Bye now.